it's not a me thing. It was my teachers. It was my staff. It was my aides, my nurse, my librarians. It was all the people that was part of that. And it was also the kids. So it makes us feel good as a whole to have that nomination. Um, the teachers here at White Church um, should feel um, wonderful because it's the hard work has paid off. This is their work that has allowed me to be in this position. So I'm excited and I'm excited for their White Church staff and students because they, 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 they were ready. We got them ready for the test and they, they came in and did what they needed to do. We are all in this together. We're working together for the common good. We have open dialogue about what, what our expectations are. And, and the thing is, too, is you're not doing it alone. And that's why you build your team. Just having a team, it's, it's, it's going to help you accomplish more. I see people that are out of school and they remember me and we have a conversation about what they did, what they're doing now. We have uh, kids from parents at this school here at White Church that I taught at Rosedale. And so we have a big connection. So just getting back in touch with them and what they're doing now um, is real rewarding. It makes me feel excited, it makes me feel proud, it makes me feel like all their hard work has paid off and um, it's just exciting. It's exciting because I know how hard you know we worked as a team and how hard my staff worked and we saw results and so it's like wow we're on to something good, let's keep it going. It's exciting to know that I can make a difference in you know 550 students' lives, children's lives. That's the goal is to make an impact on kids and so when you see it come to light, it's very rewarding. It makes you feel good. It reminds you why you come to work each and every day, even in the tough times. When you see kids are excelling and kids are happy to be at school, it makes you happy. It makes you want to be here. The more you follow through and you show kids that you're consistent and you're in it with them, then they start believing. And they believe in you, they believe in the school, they believe in their teachers. It's just, you got to be consistent. It's not easy work, but it's rewarding work. My work's not finished yet. And so it's rewarding and it's satisfying. So when I go to bed, I know this is what I'm meant to do. I have goals to accomplish and I want to accomplish those goals. And one of the goals is to make Hazel Grove one of the best schools, not only in the district, the state, we just want to be the best. I love a challenge. And so I just get out of bed every day and, and I really look at what can I do differently? I believe in a growth mindset and I believe I'm a lifelong learner. And so I'm always looking to improve and I'm looking to, to grow. And so that gets me out of bed every day because I want us to be the best. I want us to, to shine because I know our kids can do it, they will do it, and they have shown they can do it. It makes me feel proud. It makes me think that um, all of the work that my teachers put forth last year uh, really paid off and they can be proud um, because they did work hard. This is my neighborhood. This is my community. Um, I live down the street. I have teachers who live in the neighborhood, quite a few. Um, I have children in these in the Kansas City, Kansas schools, and I just want to do the best for our people here in our neighborhood. I stand in the hallway every day, and I greet them as they come in. Um, I know them. I know their families. More importantly, I think I know um, what they're struggling with, what they're strong in as far as academics are concerned. I can ask them. I can say, I saw that MAP score. Wow, you really grew in math. Because I have that knowledge. I know and can name every child in this school, but I can also name where they are academically. I mean, we looked at student work. We tried to identify ways that we could help as many kids as possible reach certain goals. Um, we did uh, monitoring of, of their data and the information. I mean, we just, we worked very hard last year. The ripple effect that educators have is amazing. And I've been in the business now long enough that I have adults out in the world. And it's very nice to see what they've done with their lives. Um, and I think that's something that speaks to me the most. That's what makes me be an educator and, and love my job. 
It's a credit to our teachers, it's a credit to our leadership, it's a credit to our office staff. Um, I think we've done a lot in the last three years to, to really try to propel Sumner where it is today and, and we've done a lot of changes to add our career program and add some pathways specific for our students. So um, I'm, I'm the very proud principal of Sumner Academy. We do have rigorous courses, we have high academia within our IB coursework. Um, but what we do is we create an environment for students to be engaged. I want our hallways to emit this feeling that all students are going to college, they're gonna be successful. We have eight through 12, so it's a very dramatic change from when they get there in eighth grade and, and see the success and, and some of the struggles they might've had in eighth grade. It's just so rewarding to see them applying for Ivy League colleges or applying for college and getting scholarships. And that's probably what's kind of kept me as an educator in the secondary field. And getting to know our students' stories is so important that um, it helps us educate them, it helps us get to know them and their families. I hope visitors when they walk in to our, our building they can they can see our students very engaged, that our teachers are motivating and head, setting high expectations. It's very rewarding in the end but um, you know those are the things that kind of keep us up at night as we're trying to prepare those kids for, for a world that we don't even know what it's gonna look like. It is humbling um, but again um, couldn't do it without the staff here. The staff here is great. Um, I walked into this building two years ago and they welcomed me in and we rolled up our sleeves and we got to work. I'm excited to get up every day to come to do my job. Um, I just think about um, the responsibility in molding and shaping minds and lives of our citizens. That they're getting the knowledge that they need to go that next step higher. So each grade level, onto middle school, onto high school, so we're the foundation. So knowing that they have a solid foundation to build on um, makes me proud and makes me excited for them. There is no I in team, and so we do a lot of team building and teamwork together. We collaborate around academics of students, we collaborate around the social emotional of students, and we even collaborate around um, any family issues the students may have. When people walk into the doors of New Stanley, I want them to feel um, welcomed. Welcomed right away, um, and then also I want them to know that we are uh, striving to be the best and again I want to provide everything that I can for those students so that they can be successful so that I can look out one day and say I knew that student win um, and just make sure that they are productive citizens. These kids um, deserve so much they deserve every opportunity um, out there for them to be successful and to have great lives and to be um, inspirations for the rest of the family and I want to be that inspiration for them. It's about getting all of our kids there. You know, you're never satisfied. You know, we've made great growth and great improvement and, and hitting some good marks, but you know, you can't be satisfied until you have every one of your kids, you know, at, at grade level or above. You know, when I when I got first was first notified about this and my teachers were coming to congratulate me, I'm, this is this is not my award, this is our award. And I say this all the time, the number one job of a principal is to surround themselves with a great team and I have the best team here at Emerson. They are fantastic. And I think our, our kids see that um, what we do here as a staff, and they feel that wraparound support. It's not just my, my teacher and, um, that's responsible for me. We're all responsible for each other, and I know our kids feel that. My mother, um, she was a school teacher um, back in the day, and I watched the influence a great principal had on her, and I saw what the kind of influence one person can have on, on their teaching staff and, and on their kids, and, and I wanted that for, for the school that I was a part of. I'm at the place where I've always wanted to be. Um, I'm part of a great school with great teachers. Um, I didn't know it could, it could be this good. We're building something great here and excited to continue to build it even stronger. One of my most rewarding times as an educator in KCK probably has been taking over this building and coming back to a place where I first began my teaching at. I wanted to be somewhere where the kids are more like where I came from and what I had to go through um, just to show that you can make it. You can do something more than what you just see around you, and I want them to be able to explore and see more than what is off of 28th and Farrow. I have the right people on board in the right places to do the job that they need to do to understand that the students are first and be committed and dedicated to the job every single day, knowing that there's going to be tough days. But because you look at a face and you know there's a need, you can see past all of that and help them reach that potential. Um, 
that's that brings a lot of joy when they're energetic and excited about what they're doing it comes out the kids mimic that behavior and so therefore kids come up to my office and they show me the good work that they're doing and so I'm always trying to be in the know I'm always trying to be a positive influence in te teachers lives kids lives and just be fully present because this is my job and this is my passion is my calling I feel a huge responsibility um, I need to know that the kids that I'm putting in uh, middle school into high school that they're going to contribute to society in a positive way I want to make sure that opportunity is afforded to every child coming to work it's like being around family and because we all have um, of the same goal in mind, and that is to give our kids our very, very best. Uh, it feels good. I feel like I'm just coming to work and be with family. We're gonna roll up our sleeves, we're gonna work hard, but we just make learning fun, make it, make it exciting, and the kids know that we care about them. When they enter the building, they are surrounded around a staff that's very passionate, that's very loyal, that uh, works very hard, and really believe in them, believe in their families, believe in the community, I get excited about that because I know that the team that I'm working with, they are going to treat those kids like they're their very own. When I go in classrooms, I'm really excited about asking students, what are you learning, to tell me what you're learning. Sometimes I have the opportunity to share my own experience. When I was your age, I remember this lesson and this is how I figured this out. Having that good relationship with my students, letting them know that I care about them, I care about their learning, and just making it fun. When people walk into William Allen White, I want them to say, that's a good place to be. It feels good in this building. The kids are happy, the teachers are positive, the kids are engaging, the teachers really care about the kids, and the kids feel that, they see that, they are engaging. I have people who really develop me, and I try to use those same experiences that I receive from them with my staff, and um, I just always want to know that the decisions that I made as a school leader, because I'm really impacting lives of students, um, lives of adults, I really want to make sure that I'm making the right decisions and doing my best. Mm -hmm.